Hello everybody and thank you so much for joining us today on one of our how-to guides with inspirational ideas on using Gypsophila which is our September flower of the month. We're going to be creating a Gypsophila garland. We've gone down a slightly different route today in the Gypsophila that we're using. We've actually gone for some dyed Gypsophila. So we've got cerise, light blue and purple. All can be found on our website so visit www trianglenursery.co.uk um, for different varieties that are available to you and all of the dyed products as well. Sold in multiples of 25 stems. Got three different colour range here um, using 10 stems of each. Uh, the rest of my ingredients are my toolkit really so I've got my scissors, some twine and some real wire. I've just got some anchor tape here but only literally just to secure um, my twine. That will all become very, very clear, very obvious soon. <laughs> okay, so thanks for watching. Stay tuned and I hope you enjoy. So thank you for watching, I hope you've enjoyed our Gypsophila garland. Um, I've only done a very short garland here simply because of time constraints. Obviously you can make them as long as you want, uh, suitable for where you're placing them. Um, and obviously you could, if you wanted to, do a section of all mixed um, colours all the way through to give you a rainbow effect. Um, but yeah, so that's, that's celebrating the dyed Gypsophila. Okay, so I have some top tips for you. Would strongly recommend that you wear gloves <laughs> when you're, you're working with the Gypsophila because you do get colour transference. So you probably need to consider 
the placement of the arrangement. For example, if you're going to do this as a table garland and it's going on pristine white tablecloths, just bear in mind that actually that's probably not going to be the greatest idea because you will get colour transference. Um, one way to help reduce that is actually to, as soon as you receive the product and you cut it and you condition it, just remove the outer cellophane wrapping so it allows a little bit of air to circulate around all of the flowers. That actually helps to dry the dye that little bit more so the transference will be less. It will reduce it but we can't guarantee that you won't get any at all. All right, so that's one thing to bear in mind if you're buying a dyed product. Okay, so second tip, preparation. Um, you can cut the little stems of gypsophila off before you start. And also you can measure your piece of string or your wire or whatever it is that you're actually binding onto. You can measure that to the distance or the length that you need the finished garland to be. So, you don't have to keep sort of getting up on a ladder to check the size and length that you need if you've already got that prepared. Okay, so using one of the advantages of using the preserved and the dyed jib is it, it, well, this one's not preserved actually, this is just dyed, but the preserved and dyed jib is it tends to last longer than, than the natural. So, you could potentially therefore make this up a couple of three days before you need it. If you want it to be eco friendly, you can see, if I just turn this over, I've actually used binding wire on top of the um, twine. But you could replace the binding wire with twine and then when the whole lot's finished with, it can all be put in your green bin. Okay, so thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope it's given you some inspiration to go and create something yourself. I mean, the options for creating this style are endless. Um, you, you could put this around the base of a, um, if you wanted to, around the base of a candelabra, around the base of a storm lantern with a candle. You could attach it to a ring to therefore create a wreath. So yeah, the, end, the, the options are endless. So I hope I've inspired you. Make sure you continue to keep watching our how-to guides. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube, ch YouTube channel because there's loads more tips and hints on there. And don't forget to share us, like us, and keep your questions coming and your comments because we love to hear what you think. Okay, we look forward to welcoming you back again very soon. Bye for now.